creating subtitles in iMovie is a pain in the ass. In this video, I'm gonna show you an easier method to do just that, and we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Brian White, and welcome back to Video Zeus. If you wanna learn how to spend less time making more videos, start by clicking that subscribe button now. I had previously made a video called iMovie Subtitles Tutorial, where I provided a graphic to help you build subtitles inside iMovie since iMovie itself doesn't allow you to really build anything effectively for subtitles. But luckily I have come across a new application called Kapwing, which allows you to create auto-generated subtitles. So the nature of the beast is to create your video in iMovie, export it, and then upload it to Kapwing to add your captions. Let me show you just how to do that. Kapwing is basically your content creation superhero. It's by far the best online tool for any marketer to create images, videos, and GIFs. Now, what's cool about Kapwing is it's all online. So no matter what type of computer you have, all you need is a browser connection to use it. This tools tab outlines all the features available within Kapwing. But for the purpose of this video, we'll focus our attention on the subtitler over here. Click on that. Now, select the video file to upload. Once the subtitler launches, you'll see the user interface, but before you can use it, your video has to finish uploading. So pay notice to the progress bar in the bottom right corner, which displays your uploading status. Upload times depend on your connection, the length of the video, and the video file size. Once the video has been uploaded, we'll want to click on the green button over here for auto-generate. Select your language and click auto-generate. Boom, there you go. You now have auto-generated subtitles on your video. Pretty cool. Now let's edit it to our liking. To play back the newly captioned video, simply click on this play button up here. Below this, you have two columns, the video options on the left and the content options on the right. I recommend starting on the content side over here to get your captions configured correctly before messing with how it looks. So let's direct our attention instead to the actual auto subtitled text over here to review for edits, as the artificial intelligence doesn't always get it right the first time. Now I can see right here it transcribed it wrong. It has the word slide when I know it's the word sled. So click into the text area over here to edit the caption right quick. Then use the playback to make sure it's all correct, which it is. Now, let's focus our attention on the left side of the screen to customize the look and feel of our subtitles. Let's start down here under Video Options. This gives you a list of available preferred video sizes for Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Everything from 16x9 video to square video to story size video. I recommend selecting this first before you start editing the look of the subtitles. Let's go back up to the text options, select a font. I recommend selecting something bold and easy to read. Arial or Helvetica will do. Font size I recommend between 14 and 18. Bold and centered. You can also use these arrows to move the text layer up or down. I like to keep them at the bottom without cutting them off. Next, we have the background options. None is plain text without a background. Outline speaks for itself. Wrap places a semi-transparent background behind the text and full throws up this half screen graphic. I like to use the wrap feature as it helps make the text easier to read on screen. You can edit the color of that background here, but black is standard. Now your video is ready to be processed. Double check everything and when you're ready, click on the red create button down here to begin processing your videos. What it will do is it will bake in the subtitles into your video. Once it's completed, it will place your video on a web page for review with a couple options to remove the watermark, download the video, edit, or share it. You can remove the watermark by simply creating a free account to use all the features on the website. There is a paid version called Pro, which lets you save your content in an effort to save time when creating more videos from templates, etc. If you haven't already downloaded my Before You Shoot guide, please follow the link in the show notes below. The guide will prove as a useful resource for each and every one of your video creations. And again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, where we help you spend less time making more videos.